All right. So let's talk about cash at closing. And on the PSI real estate exam, you're going to get some questions around this topic. And so we have two questions that we think that you are going to see some variation of on the exam. And this is kind of what they're what they're looking like. If a bank makes a 90% loan on a house valued at $88,500, how much cash is required at closing in the form of a down deposit if the buyer has already paid $4,000 in earnest money? All right, so let's take a look at this. So we're talking about a purchase price of $88,500. The bank is going to loan 90% and the buyer already dropped off $4,000 in earnest money for consideration uh, to take the property off the market. So what we're looking at here is a purchase price of $88,000. So $88,500. Then what we need to do is the buyer is responsible for 10%, right? The bank is bringing 90% to the table. So the buyer is responsible for, for 10%. So we're going to multiply that by 0.1 and keep in mind on the the psi real estate exam you're going to have to be able to turn percentages into decimals because the the calculator will not do that for you it does not have a percentage button so 88,500 times 0.1 and that is going to give you 8,800 and $50. Perfect. So that's how much money that the buyer has to bring to the closing table. Well, they already dropped off $4,000 in earnest money. And that, that dollar does go to, towards the purchase of the home. And so what we need to do is we need to take that, that and subtract it from the $8,850. And that gives us $4,850. This is the number, the dollar, uh, that the buyer is going to have to bring a check for to the closing table. They're responsible for 10% of $88,500. They already dropped off $4,000 in earnest money. They have to bring another check for $4,850. So let's look at the other one. If a bank makes an 85% loan on a house valued at $120,000, how much cash is required at closing in the form of a down deposit if the buyer has already paid $8,000 in earnest money? So we're going to look at this the exact same way. We have a purchase price of $120,000. And the buyer is responsible for 15%. We see that the bank is bringing 85% of the loan. So that means the buyer is responsible for 15%. So we're going to take that and we're going to multiply that by 0.15. Again, because there is no percentage button on the PSI real estate exam, you're going to have to be able to do this. And that number is going to be $18,000. Awesome. So the buyer is responsible for having $18,000 um, at, the, at the, the closing table when they go to purchase this property. Well, they already dropped off a check for $8,000. Remember that earnest money that does go towards the purchase price of the home. So we're going to take $18,000. We're going to subtract that from $8,000. And that means that the buyer has to bring a check to the closing table for $10,000. So this is how you lay those, those questions up. Hopefully that helps you for your real estate exam through PSI. Stay tuned for next week for the next video that we have around the real estate questions that we think that you're going to see on the PSI real estate exam.